Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. One of my favorite study Bibles, and I think many of you, one of your favorite, uh, judging by the popularity of it, is the Henry Morse Study Bible. But then also the David Jeremiah Study Bible. Maybe the person with the greatest preaching voice on radio currently. <laughs> So we're going to compare these. First of all, I mean, this is going to be New King James. I think they also make it in NIV. Whereas the Henry Morris Bible, I think it's exclusively in King James. You could check the Master Books catalog or CBD or something like that. Um, Size-wise, they're going to be just about identical size-wise, except in thickness, as you can tell. The Henry Morris Study Bible is a thick study Bible. Now, one thing I like to commend Master Books, who did the Henry Morris Study Bible on, is let's just, I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous study Bible. The blue, maybe I'm just uh, like the blue teal just gorgeous um, another thing i've noticed too let you read some stuff on the back is the henry morris study bible even in hardback comes with dual ribbon markers and i don't think the unless they just started but there's no ribbon marker in the david jeremiah study bible and there uh, that is kind of a new thing is ribbon markers in hardbacks so let's just look let's see if this is a sewn binding we're gonna see if it stays flat in Genesis it is so that's a sewn binding which again used to be unheard of so let's start in Genesis let you see what Genesis looks like they're basically gonna have the same um, just basic study Bible setup. The Jeremiah study Bible maybe has more extensive introductions. Now, of course, in Genesis, the Henry Morris study Bible is going to have a lot. Like essentials, God the Creator. See, I would agree with that. There's a lot of people that don't think that it's essential to say God is the Creator. Or that he used theistic evolution or something like that. So just letting you get a feel for the references and uh, that type thing in the Jeremiah Study Bible. So it's going to have, you know, and being in the New King James is kind of a paragraph format. And it's not even going to have end of verse references per se any references is going to have is going to be in the commentary at the bottom um, but it's going to have little tough question sections and stuff like that let's see on the margins it's going to have like uh, it looks like about a half an inch margin on the side 0.6 at the top, a lot less than that at the bottom, quarter inch at the bottom. If I had to get, it does have good like paragraph headers in the text. I'm going to say there's actually more total notes in the Jeremiah Study Bible. Of course, the print, both in the notes and in the text itself, is going to be a lot smaller. Let's see if we can tell what size print this thing is. Let's see. Well, it's probably eight and a half to nine. It's real clear though, but the notes, they're real small. Yeah, the notes are probably seven, if that. Whereas in the Henry Morse, they're both going to be red letter. I'm not sure if you can get non red letter editions you're going to be able to notice that in the uh, notes and in the text itself, it's just larger print. Guessing around a nine and a half to 10 point print, but it would qualify as large print in my opinion, not giant print.
but large print. And it is going to have end of verse references with these dual ribbon markers. Now let's see if the Henry Morris Study Bible has anything between Malachi and Matthew. A lot of times there's a ton of stuff between Malachi and Matthew. And there may be more study notes at the bottom in the Henry Morris Study Bible, but they don't have the little... All, this one's got all kinds of little full page things, eighth page things just everywhere. Yeah, nothing. Yes, there is a, just a very little introduction to the New Testament. Whereas, let's see if there's something in between here, between Matthew and Malachi. And then we'll go to the back. But a lot of times there's a whole lot of stuff that people miss in the middle of their Bibles. Yeah, it really doesn't have anything. But just the introductions are going to be probably twice as extensive in the Jeremiah Study Bible. But uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, picture this. So let's get to the back and see what's in the back of the Jeremiah Study Bible. There is a very nice concordance. Let's see how, if we can figure out how big this concordance is. Um, it starts on page 1875 and goes through 2000, 2000, 2100, it's 1875, so it's 225 page concordance. That's a big concordance. And the print in the concordance is not bad. Which, that's sometimes, you know, when you get even large print Bibles, the print in the concordance is terrible. You'd think if it's a large print Bible, they'd make a larger print concordance. That's one thing we were really appreciative for the Premier Study Bible. Nelson really helped us out with a large print concordance that has Vines and Strong's codes in it and the words. And then it's got a Harmony of the Gospels. Now the Harmony of the Gospels is a real large print. Monies, weights and measures, prophecies of the Messiah, and then just kind of a basic map section. I'm not a big Nelson map person. You know, this says Worthy Publishing. I don't know why I was thinking it was Nelson. Worthy was never a real big publisher, but uh, I wonder if it's a subsidiary of Nelson or something. Oh, and I did want to show you the Henry Morris without the cover. I mean, the cover is gorgeous, and then without the cover, it's gorgeous as well. But it may, that may be the finest slipcover of any Bible I've ever seen in my life. And then in the back of the Henry Morris Study Bible, good large print. It's just a huge Bible. I, I couldn't imagine carrying it to church. It's got an index to major topics and the annotations. And then it's got this uh, 22 subjects in the appendices that are out of this world. You could teach on each of those subjects probably multiple times. The amount of information in these appendices are incredible. So, you know, probably overall there's probably more information in the Morris Study Bible. So it's larger print, more information, but it's a bigger Bible too. And it's going to be coming from a specific creationist point of view, whereas the Jeremiah Study Bible is going to be a little less creationist. All the Messiah's nature, all kinds of stuff. Creationist defense of the King James. Then it's going to have a really nice print concordance, copyright 1985 by Nelson. And it starts on page 2158. I think it's going to be a lot less. 2158 to 2204 is what? 46 pages. But then when we get to the map section, I do want to show you the map section is something special. 
So I'm thinking the both study Bibles are like uh, 6.8 by 9.4 thereabouts. That's not the Bible block. That's from end of hardcover to end of card cover. Look at these maps. These maps are some of the finest maps I've ever seen. The glossiness of it. Master Books just did an amazing job all the way around on this. Um, so they're identical size except for the thickness. So let's just see the thickness of these. These maps are out of this world. So I'm thinking this is 2.6 inches thick. Yeah, at least it's thick. It's thick. Whereas I'm going to guess this is right at two inches thick. The Jeremiah has a lot of stuff. And it's hard to tell because it's got so many full page deals. Yeah, it's right at two inches thick. You know, and, and all, it's not, everything's not at the bottom. But it doesn't have references. And this is going to have references. Any references the Jeremiah has is going to be at the bottom. So, I mean, you're not going to have a lot of overlap if you get these two Bibles. They're going to have just different information. And so it's, it's not going to be bad to get both. Um, they're both selling really well. And I'm having a hard time finding deals on both of these. Like on eBay. I mean, every so often, pray about it. The Lord will help you. But uh, just keep reading the Word. But I love you. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.